Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is power of 4. Given an integer, sign 32 bits, write a function to check whether it is a power of 4. And notice it's a power of 4, not a multiple of 4. And the follow-up would be to do it without loops or recursion. But let's start by doing it with a loop, just so that we can understand what we're looking for. So this is trying to check if the number is power of 4. So to do that, we could just initialize some check number and have a while loop to say while our number is greater or equal to check, check if the num equals our number. And if it does, we can return a true. Then we can increase our check number to multiply it by 4. If we're able to break this loop, then we can just return a false. And that would be it. So pretty straightforward if we were to use a loop that gets accepted. But what if we don't want to use a loop? Now there's a big hint here, sign 32 bits. We want to use the bit, the bit representation of our integer. And we already, if you've seen the pro, uh, question about power of 2, we know that one way to check if it is a power of 2 is to look at the bits and check to see if there's only 1, 1. If there's only 1, 1, we know that this is going to be a power of 2. So say that uh, we had the number 4, it would look something like this. Uh, if there's 1, 1 and everything else is 0, then we could realize that that is indeed a power of 2. But what about power of 4? Well, let's think about what power of 4s there are. Look, there would be 1, right? There would be 4, there'd be 16, there'd be um, 64, and so on and so forth. And how would that look like in bits? Well, that would look like 1, this would be 4, this would be 16, and this would be 64. So, okay, that's interesting. Um, this also only has one one, just like the power of two, but the one is at a uh, odd, like odd position. If it's in the even position, then it would, wouldn't count as a power of four. So that's all we really need to know. Um, knowing that, we could write some sort of algorithm to check to see if these conditions are true. So let, let's do that. Let's start with asking if the number is less than or equal to zero, we know immediately, yes, this can't be a power of four, so we return a false. Now what do we want to do? Well, uh, we want to check to see if there's only one one. And one way we can do that is to subtract one from this number, do an AND operator, and check to see if the resulting number is, um, is what is it? equal to zero. And if it is, then we know that there is um, um, more than one, one, one. So let's take our number, say we have number, like say that we had um, something like this, and we want to do an AND operator with subtracting it by one, like that. Uh, if it's equal to zero, um, then we know that there was only one, one. Otherwise, it wouldn't equal zero, right? So what we do is say and num minus one. And if this equals, if this doesn't equal, um, let's see. If this doesn't equal, if this equals one, if this doesn't equal zero, then we can return a false. Let me make sure I got that correct. And, 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 because if it was to the power of two, then this should equal zero. Yep. And say that it was something like this, then that would end up becoming something like uh, one zero. So that would not be equal to zero. So yeah, that's one way we can check to see if there's only one one inside. So great. Now we know in this condition here that there's only one one. So if we pass that, now all we need to do is figure out where this one is inside the position. So to do that, um, well, we can use the bin, op, bin function, take the number. And what we'll do is this converts it to a string, but we want to reverse it. We want to make sure that it's reversed so that we could get the proper index number where this one exists at. So we can just reverse this number. Now we'll call this b. And what we'll do is check to see where this index number is. So using b, we'll check the index number in the string, where is the first one. So say that uh, we had number 
four. Now it looks like this, right? This it used to look like this, but now it look, looks like this. Uh, and check to see where the index number is. And zero, one, two, this is actually a the an odd position, even though the index number is two, that actually indicates um, the odd position here because it's zero index, right? So what we can do is just say return p uh, modular two and just check to see if that equals zero. And if it does, then this should be to the power of four. All right, so let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. So this is much, much faster. There are some variations using binary representations and other bit operators, but this made the most sense to me. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.